What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to be talking about the brand new content creator network that I've officially launched as of now. It is live called Diamond Reserve. Now this is something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. Uh, over the years I've been a member of different gaming organizations um, and the whole point of those is that you join and then you can upload to their channel and kind of get, um, you know, just some more exposure and, and get the word out basically about your channel and kind of help you grow. Um, and over the years these have all fallen through, none of them have been helpful or beneficial in any way. Um, and. I, I just really feel like I could do it better um, and I've tried to do this before I've tried to start a gaming organization before but it, I didn't really put any in uh, I didn't really have the time to do it basically so it never came to fruition I never told really anybody about it um, and it just it didn't exist right because uh, I was in college at the time couldn't just I didn't have the time so here I am and I have the time now and I decided to start Diamond Reserve um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it right because I wanted to do this totally different than everybody else is doing it I didn't want to do the same type of gaming network thing um, and the first thing that I wanted to that I wanted to be different is that it's not just for gamers it's not a gaming organization it is a content creator network um, that you can join no matter what you do if you're vlogging if you are a twitch streamer uh, if you're just an Instagram influencer whatever it might be you can join and I'm gonna talk about that um, so I didn't want to limit it to just gaming obviously if you are watching my channel you're most likely you probably have a gaming YouTube channel or something like that or or you've thought about it or you want to do it or whatever um, so it's not gonna be just gaming but I'm assuming that a lot of people who join at first will be gamers but as it grows I want to grow out of the gaming niche that's the first way that way that I want to be different than all the other game organizations is that it's not just for gaming the second way that's different is there's not going to be any upload or stream requirements a lot of different gaming organizations require that its users upload to a community channel at least once a week or once a month or something or you have to stream to the community uh the the, the gaming organization's twitch account once a day or once a week or so many hours per week or so many hours per month whatever the case might be there's usually some sort of uh requirement or there's a contract let me tell you why that doesn't work um at least from my experience of what i've seen what happens is you as a tiny content creator who have you have 50 subscribers or something less than that you upload to this community channel and you get a couple of views but really you know there's no consistent viewer base for this content creator or for the the gaming organization really the whole channel is just a place to put other people's videos so with a new person every week that nobody knows right let's say there's 10 people in the gaming organization nobody knows any of them because all their channels are small who's gonna subscribe to a gaming organization YouTube channel who every time there's an upload it's a different person and you don't know any of them you can't get used to it because every time it's different so really it doesn't help as much as people think if it was a giant organization like if, let's say if I joined optic right uploading to optic gaming's youtube channel would blow my channel up right i obviously it would happen instantaneously but that's because optic is already established so that model only works if the organization is already known it's already large um and it already has clout uh to use the phrase that the young people say these days um the other thing is that it's a marathon and not a sprint and i think when these new gaming organizations pop up they're exciting people like they're excited to get people and recruit people and the new recruits are excited to be a part of a new thing and then they're all uploading and talking oh my god i just joined this thing and blah 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 and then after three months of uploading and all this stuff maybe even less time than that uh, they don't see any growth in their channel they don't see any benefit and then they quit or or it dives or whatever um, and that happens all the time and that's because these upload upload requirements um, everybody knows that you know it's not really gonna help your channel that much um, you might get one or two new subs or viewers or something for these smaller these smaller gaming networks or whatever organizations uh, but on top of that you know if you make a really good video and you upload it to one of these channels then that that if that video does really well let's say it gets you know let's say it randomly goes viral which can happen it's happened to me before um then you know that that's gonna just benefit the organization channel 
and not yours and that sucks um, and you're not really gonna get much out of that you know even if even if there is a link in the bio to your channel most people aren't gonna click on it um, so you don't really get the benefit of, of that right and then let's look at the flip side for the gaming organization right let's say you are really grinding you are really good at what you do and you really grow your channel and, it, and you're the only person in the organization who's like really starting to grow and you get bigger you don't need the organization anymore because you're doing it all on your own and also the opportunity for a larger organization to pick you up is very high because there's so many organizations out there these days that why would you stay with a small one that's not benefiting you at all and you you've officially outgrown them so that's my problem with the way that gaming organizations have been run the past couple of years all the new ones that are coming up and everything like that i just don't the model i don't think is useful unless you already have a lot of uh followers and you know everything like that well-known people um so what i wanted to do is first off make a gaming organization that does not have a gaming requirement so effectively it is just a content creator network uh secondly remove those upload requirements there are no upload requirements you you can't even upload uh to the diamond reserve youtube account there is no diamond reserve twitch at the moment i don't really have plans of making one um th there is no requirement to upload um or do anything involving the diamond reserve uh channel or anything like that so now you're probably thinking okay so i can't upload to the diamond reserve channel I can't do anything like what's the whole point of this then if, if if I can't you know promote it on on the diamond reserve channel the point is uh, that it is a network of people who all have similar goals and similar mindsets and similar passions and the requirement you know there's no upload requirement but there is one requirement uh, to diamond reserve if you're gonna be a member you do have to follow this rule you have to be active on social media liking and supporting the members of diamond reserve that's the point so it is a network of people that when you join the requirement is that everybody has to like and support everybody else's content on social media so let's say one member uploads a youtube video they know if that they're a member of diamond reserve right so they know that everybody else in the network is gonna go at some point during the day or the week or something obviously not everyone's online all the time but they know at some point Every member is going to go and like that video, drop a comment, like the tweet that they used, that they tweeted out the video, maybe retweet that, and, and things like that. So now, all of a sudden, now you're not required to upload to our channel, so you're, you're uploading to your own channel, but the requirement is that everybody else has to come and like your video. And you, as a member, you also, now you have to go and like everybody else's stuff. Um, and it's, it's really... You know you don't have to upload to your own channel you don't have to do anything the only requirement like i said is you have to go and support everybody else's stuff uh, and the point of all of this is because increasing the engagement on your videos and on your streams and on your instagram posts or whatever it is that you do your soundcloud whatever um it's going to help you show up better in search rankings it's going to overall just improve in the numbers of your channel right you're just gonna get more viewers you're gonna get more watch time you're gonna get everything is going to go up and that's the requirement and if you join diamond reserve and you don't support everyone else if you don't if you're not going through and liking people's tweets and you're not going through and you know uh, retweeting things or liking people's videos I'm gonna kick people almost without warning basically it's just gonna be like okay they're inactive they're not doing anything you know if you think you're gonna join and just kind of um, you receive the benefits of it without actually giving any of the benefits you're just gonna get kicked there's no point in keeping people who are just there for themselves um, so it's a community it is a network um, where when you join you know that everybody's gonna come together and support one another and now you might be thinking okay so that makes sense uh, what else right so there is a website i've purchased and built diamondreserve.org and on the website is a forum and you can post also as a blog post your content on the website and that's gonna be like the central hub of everything every time you upload a video you're gonna post it on diamondreserve.org you're also going to post it in the forum there where there's gonna be able to be other people there talking about other things etc stuff like that so you get that resource as well um, on top of that uh, 
there's going to be more stuff in the future. I'm still ironing it, ironing it out, but I want to do monthly giveaways and, you know, just small stuff um, and things like that. So that's the whole thing. If you want to join, uh, the we are open for people, new people to join. I have a, one requirement. You have to have at least 100 subscribers on YouTube or if you don't have a YouTube account, let's say, you know, let's say you're a streamer or let's say you're an Instagram influencer or a SoundCloud rapper, whatever. Then you have to have at least 200 subscribers, or I'm sorry, 200 followers on Twitter or Instagram, depending on whichever one you use. Um, you know, if you have more followers on Twitter and none on Instagram, we'll go with the Twitter, whichever one's higher, obviously. Um, and yeah, moving forward, you know, until I can't handle the number of people subs or trying to join Diamond Reserve, um, moving forward, then um the, the the more uh, obviously the more subscribers and the more followers and stuff you have the higher the chances of you getting in are um but right now that's a very loose thing that you know that's not really um that important right now um so it's up for negotiation if you don't meet those requirements you can dm uh diamond reserve on twitter which is at diamond reserve underscore you can uh, dm us and we'll talk about it um, but I'm really, really excited about this. I spent a ton of time building the website. Um, you can go check it out right now. If you go over there, you can fill out the form. There's actually a form on the website uh, where you can sign up to to join, and it'll basically have you fill in some stuff, and it'll send me an email saying that you want to join, and I'll go through and decide if you meet those requirements or whatever the case might be. Um, so if you are interested in joining Diamond Reserve, Head on over to diamondreserve.org, um, and there is going to be more information to come. You can follow us on Twitter and on Instagram, although there, ha there aren't any Instagram posts yet. Um, and that's it. I'm going to be working a ton on different things for this organization uh, or network. Uh, there's obviously going to be, I'm going to make t-shirts and hoodies and all that stuff. That's all going to come through the pipeline at some point, but I have just really just built the foundation and now I want to get it out there so that way everybody can start joining and we can start to see if this is going to work out. And if it is, then I'm going to go ahead and start doing the monthly giveaways and we'll start going through and maybe ordering t-shirts and things like that. But uh, that's only going to happen if everybody is joining and this is going to be a, 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 a cool thing. So that's about it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're interested, like I said, uh, there'll be a link in the description where you can go and sign up if you want to be a member of Diamond Reserve. Um, if you are already in a gaming organization, contact them and say, hey, is it okay if I join this other thing? I don't care if you're a member of something else. I don't care. You can join. It doesn't make a difference to me. Um, if you have conflicting, like if, if Diamond Reserve gets sponsorships in the future, uh, then it'll get sticky. Where you know you'll have to you'll have to support our sponsors uh, over theirs, obviously. Um, so at that point, it'll get weird. But for right now, it's fine. Uh, if you are already a member of a gaming organization, you can still join Diamond Reserve. And I'm confident that moving forward, I think Diamond Reserve is going to be more beneficial to you than your gaming organization, and you'll probably leave them anyway at some point because this is going to be lit. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, check the link in the description. Drop a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below letting me know if you have any suggestions on what I should do for this organization or anything like that. Um, and that's about it, guys. I'm actually going to go back and continue playing some Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing the hell out of that game today so good um i'm addicted and anyway that's about it guys so i will talk to you guys again soon peace